Hello, and welcome to a brief overview of BMC's TrueSight IT Data Analytics trial. This is the second part of a three-part video series that will help answer some common questions about the process to download, install, and try out the software. In the previous video, I walked through some of the architecture and hardware requirements to prepare your environment for the trial installation. This video is focused on the actual installation itself. The basic steps that you'll go through for the trial are to sign up, to download and install the software, and then to test out the installation. After you've signed up for the trial, you'll receive an email that provides you links on where to download the installation software and some helpful content to assist you in the process. If you have any questions or issues downloading the software, please reach out to the contact in the email and let us know that you're having some problems. We'll be glad to help out. When you get to the download site, there are several files that you may choose to download. Again, you can choose Windows or Linux installations. Note that the files are very large, about 550 megabytes, so you'll need sufficient space, and depending on your connection speed, it may take some time to download. You can also download a Quick Start Guide that covers the installation in detail. The Quick Start Guide is also included with the Windows and Linux install media if you prefer to request that to be delivered to you. Let me walk you through the steps for the install process on Windows. It's similar in many respects for Linux as well. After you download the compressed file, decompress the contents into a folder. You may just use the default name, for example, TrueSight IT Data Analytics Trial Install Windows that you see here. In the unzipped folder, go to the Disk1 directory and right-click on the setup.exe file. Run the setup as administrator. During the initial setup, if you're accessing your test Windows machine using a terminal services client like RDP, you may see notifications about changing the terminal services settings in the group policy. These are actually recommendations from Microsoft on how their virtual access rules function in a server environment. These settings allow the underlying operating system to be accessed in a consistent and stable way by both this installation process and by remote desktop and terminal services in general. Microsoft acknowledges that their default settings were geared towards Microsoft Home Windows or professional environments. These settings do not compromise any security with the server environment. Just follow the instructions on changing the two items in the list and then continue. Now when the installation begins, you'll see the checker verifying the operating system and sizing considerations before presenting you a welcome screen. Click the Next Continue. As previously mentioned, we recommend that you select the typical setup for the installation of the trial. The custom setup will allow you to choose which components to load and where. It will also complicate the planning and installation process a bit, so we recommend that you use the typical setup. Once you agree on the terms, then we're off to the races. Next, select the directory in which you want to load the software into. The default is the recommended directory. The next options will let you choose whether you want IT Data Analytics program to automatically start with the services and also appear on the Start menu. We recommend you choose these both as defaults. In the next window, you'll get a second look for the parameters that you've chosen, and then go ahead and click Install to continue with the installation. After the installation is complete, in the unlikely event that a problem occurred during the installation process, you'll be given a log file to view. Note where the log file is located in case BMC needs to get involved with the installation. We can easily find it then. Now to get familiar with the results of the installation, let's take a look at the Windows services. You can see here that the four services have been installed and are up and running. It's good to note here that even though the services are running, due to some post-installation processing, there may be a few more minutes required to get the database up and running before you can access it through the GUI. Go to the Start menu and launch the console for TrueSight IT Data Analytics. If you choose not to add the launch link to the Start menu in the previous steps, or if you want to access the web console from another computer, simply bring up a browser and type in the link http colon slash slash the ITDA hostname colon 9797 slash console. The port 9797 is our default suggested port by the installation process. If for some reason you've changed the port number during the installation, then just make the appropriate adjustment when you add it to the URL of your browser. While you're thinking about it, you might want to also bookmark the page as well. Finally, your browser is given the link to log in. You can log in with the credentials admin admin. It's a good opportunity for you also to go and change the password after you log in. That can be done in the administration section, or you can refer to the Getting Started Guide to better understand how to change the default password. 
and then you can verify that the GUI has come up and you're ready to go. Well, thank you for taking a moment to understand more about the installation process for the BMC IT Data Analytics installation trial. The next video in the series will walk through some examples for you to configure the rest of the system with. Thank you.